Live in this episode, I want to share the breakdown of this little project that I'm, I've been working on. So it's basically uh, just a little toilet cubicle that I I scan using my iPhone. Um, so I get all the parts, and this is my little cubicle. And for the material, I'm using uh, the Sanctus library, and I think it's it's got all that I need at the moment so it's looking like this and the landscape is actually the one that's interesting that I want to share a little bit more with you so the landscape the landscape is of course uh, generated using AI and it's based on the Hobbit okay uh, the Shire and it is the setup for the for the world you can rotate this way uh, from the shader the toilet itself I think the cubicle itself it's all right but just a little bit uh, cramp it without window I wish I have like a big window like this inside my toilet so I made my toilet gold but I wish the view inside the toilet is a little bit more like the Hobbit land or the Shire okay so probably at some point I will augment my little toilet using CGI or whatever with VR or some some sort but anyhow um, yeah the landscape itself of course uh, you might already guess it's a uh, it's generated using blocked uh, blocked labs so this is the actual landscape which is like uh, more than 10 megapixel I believe the one I'm using inside Blender is the one that has been turned into HDR, so it's NF, and I actually make it smaller as well. So from Blockit Labs, I just type in Fantasy Landscape of the Shire with Hobbit Houses. This is what I got. Um, if you want some more inspirations, you can go to this Unprom AI, which is currently uh, displaying some beautiful AI generated landscape generated using uh, mid journey okay with mid journey if you get if you have the paid account of mid journey you can use that um, oh there's actually some that's actually generated using stable diffusion and you get some beautiful result here okay, okay that's interesting let's try copy this this one is a little bit detailed with the with the prompt just paste it here generate just wait a few seconds okay stop it's downloading and creating the VR for us okay it's actually pretty similar let's try something else cyberpunk these are some example of creations generated generated using AI and it's also given some extra details yeah it's give you like ideas of the prompt copy the prompt let's try it here again I'll, I'll download this one have I downloaded it? yeah generate so while it's generating there's also another thing that I want to show you okay this is from CFIT AI uh, website you can download this 360 diffusion LoRa for stable diffusion 1.5. Okay, this is quite new, quite recent from 1st of April. It's basically a LoRa train model that you can use to generate 360 landscape. Okay, so I've been testing this out as well using my homebrew 
No, this is not my homebrew app. This is the Draw Things app. If you are on a Mac or iPhone or iPad, you can use this app on your device. Basically, you just download uh, the LoRa and then use it. Use it from here. So in this in this setup, I am using RPG model, and I put uh, I assign the LoRa 360 diffusion LoRa for stable diffusion over here. I, I make it 100%. Without the LoRa, we're just gonna get the normal landscape. I can show you now, actually, just. So this is the creations without the LoRa. Yeah, just like a normal landscape. If you use 100% of LoRa, and we put in the, the Hobbits, from okay this one is actually doing the cyberpunk okay doesn't matter let's copy the cyberpunk the if you use the LoRa you can actually get some landscapes that looks like this yeah I've been playing around with this this is like more like a fantasy looking one Down here, you can actually see the landscape that looks like somewhere in New Zealand. I just actually type in the Shire, landscape of the Shire. If we do the Hobbit house, you get a Hobbit house as well. Let's just paste in the cyberpunk one. Generate. <clears throat> I got a few more. The, I, what I'm trying to show you. Uh, if you have account of Blockade Labs, you can create some 360. Uh, at the moment, I think it's, I believe it's for free, but if you, in the future, I think if they have the HDR options and then ability to do the in-painting, um, that's probably like a paid version. But alterna uh, alternatively, uh, if you kind of creating this yourself okay this is a low really low resolutions from from droughtings from droughtings app uh, I actually made slightly bigger one okay this is a candy shop candy store that's the kind of like a somewhere a zenful place I think I, I prompted a zenful place with a pawn and it's just like a cyberpunk city. Let me show you. I think this is the highest resolution that you can get from from Droughtings app. But the one that's from from Blockhead Labs, if you don't want all the troubles, this one is quite large. Uh, how big is that? It's actually 18 megapixel so this one is really high resolution from blocket labs the one that you can do yourself homebrew probably you can get up to 4k resolutions depending on your machine of course let's actually save this so I Highly recommend this, but if you want to do like a quick one, homebrew, <laughs> sometimes you get more, something that's a little bit more abstract, you can do it yourself at home, it's up to you. You can use Draw Things app or also automatic, uh, automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI. In order to make this work, you all, you actually need a 2 by 1 ratio. Of image size like a, a Latin image by, uh, size to start with so if we if we are back to our little toilet room we're gonna try to grab the landscape Different 
different locations. It's still like okay, the setup with our setup is of course still like a like a floating toilet. Of course, you actually want the whole 3D 3D environment, so you get you get all the assets, and you don't want this small cubicle. Maybe you have a better environment, but inspired by the landscape of course the 360 world environment it's gonna be inside you whatever you are <clears throat> okay we rotate it and adjust the strings This landscape actually, it it feels like it's it has some kind of HDR as well, so it's a it's not a low dynamic range, but actually, yeah, it's pretty hard in terms of the range, which is kind of interesting. So I'm adjusting the color management using filmic. Just get rid of the wall. Yeah, if you're sitting there on the toilet, you can get a 360 view of whatever environment that you you are generating. All right, uh, I think I, I've, I think I've told you everything um, this is using RPG model if you try using a different one like realistic vision try maybe Dell's Dell's F4 painting generate so still with Laura being loaded and the weight is 100% I'm also using this contrast fix and high key if I replace this with the like anime line art, I can get like anime environment. It's all a little bit kind of experimentative, but I think I still need to, I still want to document this and share it with you guys. Oh, the other settings that I haven't used is this high resolution fix. I should have used that as well. Okay. Painting of a drawing. Okay, that's photograph hyper realistic. This one is cool landscape, by the way. If you use high resolution fix with the draw things app, we can get a result that's a uh, kind of a little bit more interesting, more detail because it's doing. A secondary process on top of that and then you can also you can use upscaler as well and just double or triple or make it four times the original size so you can get quite a high resolution as well so yeah the process is basically you have some kind of idea of places that you want to go let's say Tokyo looks, yeah, it looks a bit more like Blade Runner type of Tokyo. Not exactly Tokyo, it's more like Hong Kong, but go to the blockade, paste it here, reimagine or augment the environment using AI. You can also pick. So instead of fantasy landscape, you can pick other things like more realistic or photograph, uh, more like a photograph. Uh, okay, this is totally somewhere in the future. Download it. Okay, it's 
kind of nice nighttime nighttime feels okay really really nice the the one okay this one probably too contrasty this one is not bad I think I prefer this one maybe it's too much contrast from from here I thought I select the anime line art oh well so anyhow that's the whole process so you can do it homebrew or using locate lab which is really handy just prompt it here and get the 360 um, but the one that's using draw things now you can use Laura for that uh, and this is still like ongoing stuff there's a lot of things that uh, kind of like plug in it's almost like a really big app for you to create like a AI generated character with AI generated environment uh, it's almost like you can from whatever okay so it's kind of interesting time at the moment uh, if you are a CG artist um, but anyhow yeah with the AI and stuff going on you can basically create anything simply by using prom maybe everything in seven days but anyway so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye